now I'm recording this. Okay, so um, compounding annually means that every, at the end of the year, at the end of the anniversary of the year annually, um, I'll go ahead and just, I should use my styles here. I, I like writing. Annually, this word right here just means yearly. Yearly. So at the end of the year, that's when the interest applies. So I can write that out in words too if you guys need it for your notes. Again, you're not taking notes on every single thing that I'm typing. These notes are gonna be posted on Google Classroom. So this means at the end of the year, the interest to the balance is applied. So you don't get your interest until the end of the year. So maybe I have, I don't know, let's make it easy, 100% interest, which never happens, right? 100% means you literally double your money by the end of the year. If I have 100% interest and it's compounded annually uh, in January, February, March, April, all that, you, you have your money hasn't grown, not until, boom, January of the next year, once a year has rolled around, then that interest rate has been applied and boom, since it was 100%, you have now gone up to um, doubling your money. If you started with $100, you're now at $200, but you had to wait at the end of the year. Um, so other words, um, you can compound monthly, which means monthly, um, daily, annually, just means yearly. Um, but okay, I'm a bank that compounds annually, which typically doesn't happen. And we'll go ahead and say this down here. Does every bank compound? Every bank compounds. Yes, this is important. Typically, um, most banks compound, at least in my experience, monthly. But I've heard some banks compound daily. So this kind of doesn't apply to us. I want us to get the idea of how long it takes to, to double the money better. So I'm, I'm making an example that's not quite true, but it's gonna be pretty darn close. And as a quick aside, I wanna type up these two quotes for you that you definitely do not need to write down. I'm gonna do it on the backside so that it's out of the way. So I'll do famous, oh my God, I can't type. <laughs> famous quotes. So the first one is gonna be Ben Franklin. And the second one is gonna be Albert Einstein. There are quotes for the day, I guess, because they're super important. Ben Franklin is going to explain compound interest to us. Money makes money. It's that easy. But because it's compound interest, not only does your money make money, and the money that money just made also makes money. So money makes money, and that new money that was made also makes money, and eventually you'll have an army of money making you money, that's compound interest. And Albert Einstein has what I feel to be a more powerful quote. Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who, and I can't see because you guys are actually, the way I'm gonna minimize you guys, he who, understands it, earns it. He who doesn't pays it. And that's like, if I had to come up with a motto for this class, it would be this, the second half of Albert Einstein's quote, because compound interest is like the most powerful force in the world. It's so crazy powerful. And I'm hoping that you guys are going to understand it so that you don't pay it kind of falling into Albert Einstein's quote. So, I don't know, does anyone have any questions about these quotes? Eventually I'm gonna be explaining Ben Franklin's quote a little bit more in the future, but compound interest, you're gonna have an army of money that's also making you money. So, um, here we go. Let's come back to our example, sorry for the aside. Let's go ahead and say today. Today I have $100. I like $100 because it's a nice even number. I could have chosen any number. Okay, how much money will you have in one year? 
So after one year, how much money will you have? And let's assume. Um, what's, what's the interest rate? Yeah, let's, let's assume 10%. That's a great question. Gunner. How are you supposed to do math if you don't have any math? 10%. So if I'm at 10%, how much money will I have at the end of the year? You guys have two minutes to figure out what my new amount of money is. And okay, so just so that we can all follow the math, I'm gonna do the math out in the margins. I start with $100 and I'm going to multiply that by 10%. So again, <laughs> another margin question. 10% as a decimal means I need to move the decimal place, which was right here, two times to the right. So this is gonna be 0.1 or 0.10, 0 0.1000. 0 000. You can have as many zeros as you want after this. I'm just gonna say 0.1, that is the decimal. And even better, 0 0.1. I'm gonna multiply 100 times 0 0.1. And then I can just pull up my calculator. Can you guys see my spotlight search if I pull this up? Oops. Yes. Okay, cool. So. 0.1, there's that, I can say 0 0.1, it doesn't matter. 0 0.1 times 100, and it is 10. I have made $10 in interest. My $100 was making money, that $100 made another $10, cool. So I come back over here, and I say, this is equal to, is it gonna let me write? What's going on? Why can I not write? There it goes, okay. That's equal to $10 which means I'm now up to $110 because I made 10 more dollars. So in one year, I'm at $110. Okay, well, then the next question, what happens if I'm at two years? Because now the interest is gonna apply again. It's not gonna apply again to just the $100. It's gonna apply 10% to the $110. So if you think the answer is 120, you're not right. It's more than that because it's in, it's, you're getting interest and it's compounding um, over and over and over again. It's even more money than you might think. So again, go ahead and do 110 times 0.1, figure out how much money you made in interest, add it to the original amount, $110. How much money do you have after two years? Message me privately in the chat. Okay, so a lot of you have great answers. Um, let me do the math again. So our, our order of operations, let me write it under here. This is what you're doing, right? You have your original. And you're going to multiply that by your interest. Interest rate, I should say. And that will give you how much actual money you've made. So interest, interest money made. So what we do here is we started now with $110. $110. We're going to multiply that by the interest rate, so by 0.1, 0 0.1. And that will mean that the interest that we've made is, and spotlight search to the rescue, 0 0.1 times 110. We've made $11 in interest. $11 in interest. And if this sounds unfun to you, like this is so dumb, $11, you're only starting with $100. Like if you want to play with this, like, what if you have $10,000 in your bank account? Think in the future. You're going to have a lot more money in your bank account than just $100. These numbers are going to be kind of big. Okay, so we've made $11. Okay, so now after we do that, now add to original. Right, so our original was $110. So we had this $110. And we made eleven dollars in interest. We are now at. And you guys can see this pretty clearly. We are now at. I should use orange or something. One hundred and twenty-one dollars. So for those of you that thought, oh, this is going to be one hundred and twenty dollars because we just add ten, add ten, add ten. It's even more than that. It's one hundred and twenty-one dollars. Not by much, but by a little bit. And that's the whole idea of compound interest. It's not like it's a crazy. I mean, it is pretty powerful when you think about it in the long term. But in the short term, it's not that powerful. It's only $1 more than you thought. So let me put what happened here. Between $100 and $110, we made cha-ching plus $10. Why do I keep writing that? Plus $10. Between $110 to $121, we made cha-ching $11. 
and you might be thinking, oh, well, the next one is going to be $12, right? <laughs> it's not that much. It's, it's going to be even less. You can go ahead and calculate it if you want. But let me, <laughs> I need to find a shortcut because... And the reason I gave room here is because I wanted to write in my notes what we originally did. We originally had $100 times 0 0.1 to get $10. Oops, get $10. And then I gave some room over here to say we originally had $100 and then we added on the $10. The $10 to get um, $110. So everyone can follow the math, hopefully. In fact, I don't need to move that that far down. I can back up right there, sure. I want to find a shortcut, and I've already talked about this shortcut. The shortcut is really multiplying because let's say I have some original. And this is, um, let's title this shortcut. We have some original amount of money. And typically, this is not called original in math, uh, especially when you're into money. If you're talking to like bankers or something, you're saying, I have an original amount. We'd be like, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. But if you use the word principal, oh, they're like, oh, he, he's done his research. Like that, that means the original amount, but he knows our terminology. This is called the principal amount. Principal. Not principal, my friend, the principal, Miss Sasson. It's principal. I'm, I, I assume it's principal as well this way. Maybe I should go back and double check this. There are two types of principles. Um, your principal amount. And I have a feeling it's actually principal. Oh gosh. I have a feeling. Okay, I, I need to Google this, guys. Oh, can't type in correctly. Principal amount of money. Yes, I was right. It is principal. It is the uh, initial amount, the original sum of money borrowed or put into an investment. Okay, so I got it right. Principal. So we have the original amount. And what did we do? The long math of what you we did was we spelled it wrong. Oh, Prince, there's an C in there. Huh? Teacher error, XP. Teacher error, XP. Minus HP for the teacher. Um, the principal, what we did was we added that original amount times, or we had that plus the, I'm going to call it principal because we're going to be fancy in this class. Principal. And then we multiply that by the rate. So principal plus principal times rate, and you can probably see here that you can factor out a principal, oh, using some algebra skills, what's going on? And in fact, instead of saying principal each time, I'm gonna say P, and instead of saying R, I'm gonna say, or instead of saying rate, I'm gonna say R. So what we originally had was P plus P times R, that was our original formula. We took the original amount, $100. We added on this interest. The interest was calculated by doing principal times rate. What we're essentially doing, if I factor out that P, is P is factored out, one plus R. And wow, this is, I thought this was a short lesson, but this is taking me forever to get through, isn't it? I'm are we gonna go continue to tomorrow? Up. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish this up tomorrow, but I, I want to get through at least this little bit part of the shortcut. I can't finish the shortcut, but I can get through the first half of it. So I'm really multiplying here, and if my rate was 10%, in our example, I can come over here and say, in my example, this doesn't seem I had like 10%. Right? It will be. I prom okay. I'll do this a hundred times, Gunner. How many will I have in a hundred years? <laughs> You're gonna need a shortcut for that. No, on it. In this case, you need to do it a thousand times. I have a shortcut that can, that can do that in one operation. You're gonna to have to do that a thousand operations. In our example, we had $100, and we multiply that by one plus 0.1, right? Because I mean, our principal amount, our original amount was 100, and then we need to multiply that by the original plus 0.1. So the original plus 0.1 over here is just 1.1, and I can come on my calculator, pull up Spotlight Search, 100 times, in parentheses, 1 plus 0.1. You can see this is in exactly the case. In one year, I came to $110. This formula works. I'm proving to you right now. Look, yes, it does work. That was our shortcut to get from 100 to our one-year amount. And my, my trackpad is not working right now, so I'll have to come in over here and type. And that was equal to... What is going on? Equal to 
And you can try it one more time. This is the last thing I'll say, and then you guys can go. We had $110 then, and then we multiply by one plus, plus 1.1, or sorry, 0.1. And again, if you use Spotlight 100 to 110. And look, 121. It's a shortcut. What's going on? Oh my gosh, my computer's lagging that bad. Are you kidding me? And this was 121. Okay, that's where I'll leave you guys in the notes. We have 10 seconds left of class. This is a shortcut, but once we take it to a higher power, then we can start skipping steps. I'll see you guys tomorrow.